This is Real Estate Rookie, episode 94. My name is Ashley Kerr, and I'm here with my co-host, Tony Robinson. How are you doing today, Tony? I'm doing great, Ashley. It's a beautiful day here in SoCal. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking some more real estate talk with you today, though. Before Tony and I uh, started recording, we were just looking at our schedule, and it appears that we did not plan our vacations well. We're actually doing vacations back-to-back instead of the same week, so... (laughs) We're going to miss each other not recording for almost three weeks. <laughs> three weeks, yeah. I mean, but, you know, I think that's one of the good things, right, about, or not one of the good things, but it's something that you have to remind yourself of as you're kind of building your business is to not get stuck in just the day-to-day grind of, you know, analyzing this and, you know, putting in this offer and working this deal. So I'm looking forward to a week kind of uninterrupted with, you know, my wife and my son. We're actually going to like Lake Tahoe for the first time here in California, and I hear it's beautiful there, so we're looking forward to it. That's awesome. I've never been. Um, but I agree with you. It's very, very easy to say yes to things, especially virtual things and packing up our camera equipment and recording on the road. That's very easy to do. And a lot of times I don't mind and I prefer it. I love it. But I'm deciding that this is actually going to be a vacation. So <laughs> a real vacation. No more. I did schedule one go- one call so far, but um, we'll see. I- I'll try to say no and limit myself. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to, to not even bring my laptop with me. Like I just want to like leave it and not even have the opportunity to to do work while I'm out there. So we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm gonna make sure that <laughs> happens. <laughs> well, what do you got for us today? Let's get into today's rookie reply. Okay, so today's question uh, comes from my Instagram, actually. It was uh, a DM I received from Benjamin. It says, hey, Ashley, recent follower of Real Estate Rookie Podcast and love the content you guys produce. I am just getting my feet wet learning about the real estate mental game. I know you've mentioned subscribing to the Dave Ramsey School of Thought in some ways on the podcast. I wanted to get your thoughts on the idea of starting investing in properties while you still own a fairly or you still have a fairly substantial amount on student loan debt. My wife and I are both in the medical field and have good salaries, but I don't want to wait another five to seven years until I can pay off student loan debt to get involved with passive cash flow for rentals. Just wanted to get your thoughts on the matter. Thanks. What do you think, Tony? Yeah, so this is a... This is like a deep. What was this? What was this guest's name or the uh, the, the Benjamin. name of the person? Benjamin. We can so, call him Ben. <laughs> ben. This is like a, a deeply kind of personal decision to make because the the idea of debt and investing um, it's kind of very uh, kind of a polarizing topic. Um, I can share with you what my story was. Um, we, in comparison to the income that we have from our W two jobs. Our debt was a relatively small percentage. Um, In comparison to the amount of money that we had saved up, we could have easily paid off all of our debt with the money that we had, um, you know, in our savings account and in the stock market. Um, We chose to kind of focus on the the high interest debt. So we paid off most of our credit card debt. Um, We decided to leave our car loans um, and our student loan debt, because both of those were at relatively low interest rates, right? Like, you know, I think our car payments are like 3% or something like that. Um, so for us, we made the decision that we could either pay off that debt that's only costing us, you know, $3 or I'm sorry, 3% in interest, or we could use those funds to go out and buy investment properties are going to do, you know, four or five, 10 X that, you know? So we made the decision to say, okay, we're comfortable with this small amount of debt because again, in relation to our total income, it's not, it's not ruining us financially, right? It's not, it's not preventing us from moving forward, but we want to put this money to work uh, in our investments. I think if we, if we were in a position where we didn't have a, a good amount of money saved up or, you know, our, our debt load in relation to our income was really tight, right? Like there wasn't a lot of space there, then maybe I would put a little bit more focus on paying down that debt. So I, I think it's going to be a really personal decision, Ben, based on a lot of factors that, you know, unless you and I are kind of sitting down together, really getting deep into Ben's personal finances, might be hard to give you a, you know, a solid answer. 
The first thing I would say is if you do have credit card debt, pay that off because interest rate is so high on credit card debt. Um, But it doesn't sound like Ben has that. It just seems like he has a student loan debt. So I actually had student loan debt when I started investing. We had uh, student loan debt. We had uh, vehicle debt. We had farm equipment debt. And we also had a line of credit on our house. So I had no interest at all at paying off our debt. I thought we were normal. Everything was fine. And I started buying rental properties. But I also didn't use any of my own cash to start. So I think that makes a big difference. If you're able to invest with no money down, such as taking on a partner like I did or um, burring a property where you're going to be able to refinance and pull all that money back out, uh, I think that's a great way because it's not cutting into the actual money that you would use to put towards your debt debt payment. So I think after maybe two, three years after I started uh, buying rental properties, I would take all of my cash flow all of my W-2 income, and I started pouring that into paying down our debt. Any extra money my husband had, I'd pour that into debt. So I think if you feel comfortable taking on the the mortgage debt of your rental properties and you want to get rid of your other debt, use that cash flow from those properties. Um, but if you have to make the decision, it's like, okay, I have 20 grand and I either need to pay off my student loans or put it towards a down payment on a property, I think look at what Tony was saying is look at the interest rate comparison. Where are you going to get the better return? Um, is it if your student, you know, loans are eight percent, but on the rental property, you're only getting a six percent return, then definitely pay off uh, the student loans. So I think go about it that way. Look at the numbers. Also, what makes you feel comfortable? And then try and buy with no money down because you you make sure you have those cash reserves. You're not putting everything to your student loans debt so that you're you have nothing. But um I do believe that um I sleep better at night not having any personal debt. And it's funny, I was talking to someone the other day that they have um we were talking about my house and how I just want that mortgage gone even though it's the cheapest debt I can get. And they said they feel the same way. They said they don't even want to count how much debt they have in investment property, but they care about their little house. Like if something really, really goes wrong, their house is not going to matter. So, but it's what helps you sleep at night too. So I think look at personally what makes you and your wife feel comfortable, but then look at the numbers. Where are you getting the better return? And I think it's you're definitely able to do it um, both ways. There's a lot of controversy about Dave Ramsey. And in my opinion, I think he's great to get out of debt. And if you need help budgeting or you need help paying down, like using the snowball char, I could not wait to check off that I paid off debt. And (laughs) so that is very helpful. But I think once that debt is paid off, his advice doesn't really apply to me after that. So, or even I was still investing while I had debt. So um, as far as Dave Ramsey for investment, I don't listen to him. But as far as paying off debt and staying personally debt free, I do like um, what he says about that and his opinion on that. Yeah, no, great. You know, well put, Ashley. And that, it just I, I think if you try to follow the Dave Ramsey approach for investing in real estate, it would just be such a long time to try and make that work, right? Like, I think Dave Ramsey's approach to investing in real estate, where he just pays cash for pretty much everything, works for him because he's a multimillionaire that's got, you know, a lot of money coming in. So he can just go in and and drop a big chunk of cash on a property. So maybe if you're in that position where you're pulling in millions and millions of dollars a year, right, then, you know, maybe the mortgage don't matter that much. But I think for the average everyday American who isn't, you know, Dave Ramsey, uh, doesn't have that income. I, I think the timeline to achieve something like that is just not not sustainable, not realistic, and, and doesn't really help you achieve your goals in that way. And I think, too, if you are bringing like you're not, it's not like you're going to quit your W-2s and rely on this rental income right away to keep paying your student loans. I think if you still have your W-2 income, you're buying a couple rental properties, you're throwing that cash flow at your student loans. I think that can be a great situation that you're in and even taking extra money from your W-2 and throwing it at your student loans and then getting those done. And I think that cash flow from rental properties can actually really help you um, increase that debt pay down. Actually, if you have bought into a great property and you've done your due diligence and 
you have your reserves in place and that is uh, producing cash flow for you can definitely speed up paying down any kind of debt. Yeah, well put. I think we I think we hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a, a great uh, a te- teaser uh, headliner. Would it like uh, clickbait? Oh, yeah. Ashley and Tony bash Dave Ramsey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or something like that. Title it. But OK, well, thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of Rookie Reply. You guys uh, check us out on YouTube and you can watch the videos of these recordings. You'll get to see that Tony wears a black shirt every single time. And today I attempted to match him a little bit. (laughs) But um, in the comments of this video, let us know what you think about paying down debt versus um, starting to invest. We would love to hear what you guys think. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley at Wealth From Rentals and he's Tony at Tony J. Robinson on Instagram. We'll see you guys later. (laughs) 